right, we're in a 2006 Audi A6. We're going to show you how to get rid of this uh, cigarette lighter adapter in your car. Um, we're going to install a Dention, um, sorry, 2.5 spec dock. What it, it does, it replaces this ashtray dock uh, with an iPod dock. Um, in this case, we're actually using it with a Dention iPod adapter. Um, they can be modified to be used with your factory adapter, and they can also be modified to uh, just be wired up to power. That way, if you just want a charger, you can also use it that way. Um, all right, we're going to be, uh, let me get some tools and we'll show you how to start the install. All right, we're going to show you how to do this install on, uh, on the A6. First thing you're going to do is put your foot on the brake, engage the, uh, the parking brake. Then you're going to put this all the way down as far as it goes in this car. It's on S. I'm going to reach in here, take out the ashtray. Um, this is just an insert. Then there's going to be two T25 Torx screws down there. Um, I'm going to use my drill, but you can use a handheld. If you don't have a Torx, we do sell them on the website. Um, this has a magnetic tip, so it makes it nice and easy to hold them. All right. Next thing you can do, there's two holes right here, directly under the climate control buttons. Um, they're like little grooves. You just pull gently on it, and it comes right out. Um, a lot of times, um, 2.5 in the direction, they say to unplug it. Um, I don't like unplugging anything unless you have to, so what I usually do, I just wrap it in a towel of some sort. That way it doesn't get scratched up and I just hold it around. Um, there's a little plastic, I'll just hold this up, there's a little plastic thing over here that's just a little, you know, to make it just for aesthetics. Just pull on that lightly, comes out just like that, put that aside. Alright, now that you're at this point, it would be helpful if you had a second set of hands to just hold the, um, this thing up while you do this, but it's not really necessary. If you look over here, um, I don't know if you can get this right here, there is a little tab right there. See where the screwdriver is going? Dead center. It's a little hard to see, but. All right, now all you got to do is put the little screwdriver in there and just hold on, little screwdriver. Yep. Just do it on this angle. All right, once you have this up, um, there's a little tab right here. Um, it's dead center. All you're going to do is you're going to put this, a little screwdriver in there. Gently push out. I can do this. Be careful with the wood grain. Don't use the wood grain to pry. Hold on. There you go. Give me one second. It's not going to be pretty, but there you go. Yeah, just uh, a good idea is to put something in between so you don't use the wood grain to pry. Um, well, pretty much it just pries up like so all right and once you do that <clears throat> close the door a little bit so it doesn't get wedged in there one second push it back all right and then it's gonna lift up there's a little connector over here that gets in the way a little bit all right, so all you got to do is a little squeeze tab right there. Squeeze the tab and pull out at the same time. I'm trying to get this on video, but at the same time, do it. So, you know what? You saw the squeeze tab. There you go. It just pulls right out. And then once you do that, the whole thing just comes right out. And that's it. That's your ashtray. All right, now I have the uh, ashtray in my hands. Um, if you look over here, there's a little thing that kind of pops up. I'm not sure what it's for, but we're going to use it to run the cable. Um, if you look over there, I'm going to try to do this without looking, so let's see how it goes. It's okay if this one pops off too, because half the times it does. All right, so you're just going to grab. I, I put my finger here trying not to get it pop off. So you're going to push on that. You can also, if you want, you can cut it off. See, I just bend it like that. And just keep going back and forth. Oops. Thought I had it. All right, and that just breaks right off. All right, see the holes right there, and this is where you're going to run the iPod cable. All right, we're going to show you how to run the cable from up here 
uh, down to uh, the back of the glove box where everything is going. Um, this this step isn't completely necessary, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, just take this, you just put a little small screwdriver in here, pop this off. Um, there's another T25 Torx in there. Alright, take that out. Now, this piece, there's a couple tabs over here. I would just start in the middle. Alright, so it just pops right off. Um, and I think there's one more over here. Alright, once you get most of that off, you've got to slide down. Okay, because you see right here, there is a, a little hook. So you just can't pull out. So that's why I say pop, pop, pop. When once you get to here, just slide that down. Um, put this aside. You might want to use some sort of rag right here so it doesn't uh, scratch up the top of the glove box, the bottom of the glove box. And you can't see it, but who wants to make damage? Alright, first thing you're going to do, because this is the mistake that everyone does, you put the iPod cable through the ashtray. <laughs> you forget that, you're going to have to redo it. Alright, it's okay to uh, to mount this here, but don't remove the stick yet. You don't want it, uh, you don't, you gotta, you can't stick this so you put the screws back in. So, Alright, so then you're going to grab the iPod cable here. There's a bar right here. Um, see this black bar? You're going to go under it. Um, let me see if I get you some better lighting. Alright. There's a black bar here with a white bar underneath, and then there's the air conditioning vents on the back. Um, so what you're gonna do, I just twisted this to show it easy. Um, you can go like this, under the bar, see if this works the first time. You can go under the bar. And then you're gonna come out right there. You can kinda see the head right there. I'm just gonna pull it now so you can see. Like that pretty much went through without any headache. See it? There you go. Now, once you do that, you're gonna follow this air conditioning vent back here. All right. Now, direct. I don't know if you see how it V's back there. It's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see where it ends. Uh, right here, where it ends, just go straight right, and then you're gonna be able to feed it right through to the side where we just opened up. Just put your fingers in through here, and then feel it out. Alright, so there you go. That's the cable. Just pull on it. You know, make sure it's a little tight, rubs up against a few things, but now once you get it to this point, what you want to do is whoops. Let me put that over there, it's gonna up. Grab a grab a towel or something, put this on the bottom, pull it as far through as you can. Now leave a little slack like this so it has room to wiggle on there and you can pull it out and just place it down, place it here for the time being. Um, as you see, I pushed in the climate control uh, before I did all this, that way it's not hanging around. I mean, it's not fully inserted, but it's, it's you know, so it holds it. All right, let's, uh, now that we ran the spec dock, let's show you the, um, the, the rest of the dungeon install. All right, now that we got the wire here, I put this piece back in, just off to the side, that way uh, it doesn't get in the way. Now, you, to take out the changer, the first thing you're gonna do is there's a panel down here you're gonna want to take off. Um, it's a black panel. You can use. I'm trying to do this without looking, so bear with me. There it is. Actually, let me stick my hand down there. It's a little black panel. Um, just pry on it. There are one. I think two, maybe three clips. Two, two clips. Oh, there's a third one somewhere. There you go. And once you do that, this piece just pretty much comes out. Oh no, it's a fifth one. I need it. There you go. Sorry, usually my head is down here, but since I'm doing the video. Um, all right, that comes out. Now I'm just gonna show you something real quick. Um, you really don't have to take out the CD changer. It just makes life easier. Um, right here are both the CD changer connections. This is the power and this is the fiber optic. Um, I recommend taking out the changer, pay the $5 for the keys, only because you can see what's going on, you're not working on a tight space, but if you really just want it to be low budget, <laughs> you could do this. Um, Alright, let me uh, show you how to take out the changer now, I'll be right back.